Hey, I'm Harold Gerardo. Normally, I'm at a tech company in Silicon Valley, serving 1,200 people a day. But today, I'm at AQ in San Francisco, where I'm going to show you how to make my tuna avocado toast, utilizing a number of products of Kikamon. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to jump into the egg sauce, which helps bring together the brunch element of the tuna avocado toast. So with the eggs, we're only going to use the yolks. And the yolks will help emulsify the butter as well as the uh, kikaman sriracha and the miso. And at this point, you want to make sure to control the eggs, constantly whisking to prevent it from scrambling. So we're going to emulsify the butter into the yolks slowly. And at that point, you're going to add the miso. And then last, the kikaman sriracha. The spice ends up uh, perking up the sauce in the whole dish. So when everything comes together, we're going to pour it into this glass and reserve it to pour on top of the tuna avocado toast. Now we're moving on to the uh, avocado mix, which utilizes only four ingredients, the avocado, corn, lime, and salt. So of course, we're going to start off with dicing our avocado, and then getting grilled corn, slicing it off the cob, squeeze of lime, to add the acidity and also to help maintain the avocado's color. And you just want to kind of mash the avocado slightly to help bring all the flavors and all the textures together. So we're going to put this on the side and reserve it for when we build the tuna avocado toast. We're going to work on the tuna tartare, which consists of the tuna, ginger, lime, kikaman soy sauce, as well as their sesame oil. Starting off with the sushi grade tuna, we're going to cut it into small cubes. Next, we're going to zest some ginger in there, as well as lime zest. And then we're going to mix it with the kikaman soy sauce and their sesame oil. So even though this component only has five ingredients, one of those main ingredients is the kikaman soy sauce, which is traditionally brewed up to nine months, which can add a lot of depth to something that seems so simple on the surface. So the final part of the tuna avocado toast is a quick pickle of red onion, utilizing the kikaman rice and vinegar as well as thin sliced red radish, cilantro leaves, parsley, and furikake, which has nori, sesame seeds, and rice crackers. So we're gonna to put together all the components that we just created, starting with the grilled ciabatta bread. We wanna create a nice, even mixture across the spread. We wanna to try to make sure that every bite has that avocado and corn in there. And moving on to the tuna tartare. As you can see, the kikaman soy sauce and the sesame oil creates a nice glistening color on the outside of the tuna. We're gonna add the egg sauce, we're just going to glaze it on top. Then we're going to finish with the quick pickle of the red onions, utilizing the kikaman rice wine vinegar, the red radishes, the cilantro, and the parsley. They, all of those components add the freshness that the dish needs. Nori, sesame seeds, and the rice crackers for texture. Here we have the tuna avocado toast, utilizing kikaman soy sauce, sriracha, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Enjoy.